hello people once again i'm back in my last video i discussed um lg router ubiquity lg router and uh, i said uh, in my next video i'll be talking about ubiquity top switch yeah ubiquity switch pou pro and um the reason why i said that is i want to actually show us how to use this um poe to power our equipment our cc TV camera equipment and our tower on on on, on our mast without using the period that comes with those radios. Okay, so I, I just want to explain this four main, is it five main status, the device, the force, the VLAN, and the alert. So just for us to have a, a quick understanding of what I'm actually talking about. Okay. So um quickly I just want to do a short video. I don't want it to, to to get too long. So when we click on the status, it's so just trying to show us the number of ports we have available what we have configured. As you can see here, I have made uh, my port three as a switch and if I want to do it what I mean is that I have to turn up the vote on that um particular poe and um uh, the port five goes on on the switch five port eight i use it to power a 24 volt uh, device as you can see here okay so here is just showing us the breakdown of our uh, data that are passing through uh, each port okay and here is just the, the data distribution how information has been sent as you can see here we have t as of six meg this is a, is a live network this is a live switch that i'm using to explain to you so currently these are the data that has passing through it we have um uh, upload and download of four by four five by five meg so uh, that is that sorry about that and um basically the system is just showing us the activity that actually happened real time shows us the name that the default name and the name will give the device the, the location will configure the current firmware the current date is today's date and the uptime that the up for this and is the uh permanent mark address permanent address error on the device and this is the uh the, the upload and download uh, that is currently active on the device so if i go to a device under the device this place is just for us to um, look at uh, the firmware upgrade if you want to upgrade you can click here and it take us to it should bring on your page yes so when you click on this download it take us to ubiquity website we will have to download the um the required uh, firmware that will actually work with the device using this uh, regular uh, firmware version okay now under the management this is the IP address I have configured for is a slash 24 network a gateway and uh, here I named the device and I set my time I gave it a location and I gave it um longitude and latitude address basically that's that's all that I need to do here this one is so this one is the same uh, only if you want you don't want to use port 8 you want to use a private port that you know you can change this particular one um under service here you just uh, put the name here you can see that uh, i enable lmtp server so that my server can actually have details of what is happening and i get a lot whenever this equipment is down on my server for my mail so that is what i need my server IP address and all of that and uh funny tree this remains the same jumbo frame okay then we we'll talk about jumbo frame normally the default mtu size maximum transmission unit is 1500 so for us to allow the interface to transmit um uh enough capacity to transmit more than enough that there won't be any restriction when 
at a particular interface from one to eight is transmitting. Then we can click enable this jumbo jumbo frame so that it can push as much as uh frame or packets that packets can actually use while the discovery is just to actually see the equipment on 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 the network but i don't actually need it because it's actually put some broadcast on the network which is not good for the network and the account here is just for to save my username and password and that's all under the maintenance and service is just for me to do a remote but i want to download the configuration i've made i want to use the device so that is what that is all about so we do um go to ports so on our port the here is the reason why i actually want to do this tutorial i we'll also show how we can make each port a switch port or can make it to power a device how we can actually also disable that port here now we have ports one to eight uh, i'm not actually using one to two i'm using three because i'm using port three as a LAN extension which is also with a switch i'll put up i'll put it up here okay and i put the speed on auto i can see that that port is enabled okay here i the same thing i use port 5 as also a switch to just power my wireless router in my office here i'm using it to power it and be able to redo a port 24 so for me to do that for instance if i want to enable this port 8 i'll have to click on it or click on poe and enable bring this 24 volts say okay bring this 48 volts in this unit if i want to enable 48 volts and say okay i'll come here and i'll apply i have to apply changes okay that particular port will be up for 40 right now the device has its lights up the real-time activity shows you what is happening if we plug a cable onto this post now you see this cable if you have seen this battery and if i use because i have cables that are connected to it okay on port 5 i have shut down the wireless router at the office that's why i'm not seeing it i'm pulling this guy off okay so if i put it on off i click on saves the lights will go off this works the lights will go off you can see that so this guy does just how to make the enable the 24 volts on a port or, or a 48 volts on a particular port based on your requirement or you want to use that the type of equipment you want to actually enable on that particular interface so okay i think physically that's this you can if you want to rename it you can just uh click on the interface for instance let me use port this again this is the default uh, name i just you can use i will use another spawn i will use a youtube youtube toots okay i say as it has taken effect so if i click on change it will change so and if i want to return it back this thing i can join it to remove it and click on save it's back on port it's back on uh the the default uh port name and that's i want to show is that in case a particular port we just want to reboot this port maybe this part port is now we want to reboot it maybe you, you are somewhere you have a network freeze and uh, your that this particular interface is not pushing traffic again all you need to do is just come here you uncheck this guy you save it and you come back you check it back you check it back and you save it like that you actually negate the configuration on that device and you have actually put it on and off with that the interface will restart itself and start working again so um here is another topic I don't want to dive into that for now. Spanning tree setting on port 8 and uh, alarm, only alarm, as a try, as a try, as a try, as a try, which uh, I don't want to go into now. So that would be a tutorial for 
sometimes yes so here is just a convert the vlan we probably show we are converting in vlan on our, or on our network and there's a need for us to actually tag a particular interface all we need to do is just click on hard and you can see here the the keys that team star use on tag are emails exclude so maybe my uh vlan id is one two three okay one two one two three okay i can just name like youtube give it a name youtube and uh, can target actually i'll click on this thing to see and i'll save when i click on save it should be here okay so that's that then next one is just the uh, the alert this is just for us to actually get a lot whenever a particular interface is faulty or when something's happening to that particular interface the other side is for us to actually look at okay, an alert indicator okay when something is happening to that network when something is happening to a particular interface something is happening to a, this particular switch or this particular network so that we can actually find a solution how to resolve it so the play that is what is um, um alert is all about so you can see all port has been selected so that is this if all these ports are enabled then Whenever anything happens to any one of these ports, I will be alerted and I'll get the information. Here is just the syslog of what is happening, but I don't have, okay, I have this just the activity that is happening in real time. So you say that uh, I change a particular port, port it to port seat, to uh, port seat, port, and uh, these are just activities that are performed that is giving me this information. That is what this one is all about. Okay, I think that's what I want to actually discuss today. It shows that uh, it shows that only two cables are connected to this particular device for now. If I log on to another one now, it's on the two and two and you see that the, the old port is busy. So the old port are busy, so it shows that the cables are connected to all the ports. It's still loading, and hold on, you can see that this port, has, this particular port shall be used up. That is why I had to set up this one, this new, that's why you can see so many, you can put the voltage and have used up. So whenever you plug the cable to it, this device will show all the activities that is actually going on. If somebody removes it, I will see that somebody has removed it. Sorry, I didn't talk about it. This particular port is the management port for you to actually log in and manage the device. Instead of yanking off, yanking off cable from the network, so that there won't be any impact on the user or down the network. So, thank you for. Uh, taking the time to actually watch this, today's uh, tutorial. I hope to see you in my next uh, video.